Science speaks to the mind, but you know, stories speak to the heart. And um, unless people can really see what it's like for people today living with HIV and hear those stories, then I think it's kind of quite hard to really, you know, change people's minds. So U equals U stands for undetectable equals untransmittable and this has been really a fantastic uh, message for our patients living with HIV. This means that if you are HIV positive, uh, you've been taking treatment successfully for at least six months with an undetectable uh, viral load test in your blood, you cannot transmit your virus. It's really important that people are aware that they have power over their own treatment. Um, if the treatment isn't working for them, they, they've got to talk to their doctor about it. They've got to say, I want other options, because there are other options out there. And I think that's one of the things with the whole U equals U message is, you know, it only works if you're undetectable. So you need to make sure that people are supported so they can be undetectable and remain undetectable. And if you don't have that engagement, really, from someone who's living with HIV to understand their condition, but also to, to manage it slightly themselves as well, uh, then it makes it more difficult for them to understand really why they're adhering to treatment, the importance of having the right treatment, taking treatment at the right time, uh, and so on. And so it's very, very important, particularly as we see people now, maybe less often, we see people twice a year if they're undetectable and stable, for them to uh, really be well educated and at the center of their care plan. Uh, to have a successful outcome in terms of managing their HIV infection. I have had some success in making people understand that the U equals U message is another piece of evidence that should make them feel more valid and less self-stigmatised about their infection and therefore give them the confidence to self-manage in a little bit of a, a more competent way. We have to continue to remember to centre the people who are impacted by HIV and other comorbidities um, in their care. They have to make these decisions. We shouldn't be taking away people's independence and agency. Um, people should be able to fit their medicine into the lives they already have. I think it's really important that people understand their health, their condition. Some patients may want to know everything in detail. Other patients may wish to know less, but it's about individualized care, tailored care. And our main goal really is to empower people to reach the right decisions for them. You cannot make an informed decision if you are not given that information, if you are not briefed. I am very worried about the cuts that are happening in sexual health funding. Overall, HIV is a part of that. I think for me it's about trying to uh, help people to understand, you know, that, this, that, that they're really at the centre of their own care. Um, and that the health system is there to facilitate that for them. I think what we need is for patients to feel that they're empowered to make their decisions for themselves, and often that's about information. So we need to make sure that people have access to the information which they can use to make the treatment choices in consultation with the healthcare providers.